Hello, everyone. We're live. Welcome to TDX. Uh, before I begin my presentation, I want to remind everyone, as usual, that you may hear or see forward-looking statements, so please make any purchasing decisions based on what's available in the marketplace today. Thank you all for being here, and thank you to all of you joining us in Salesforce Plus and online. My name is Esteban Acevedo, and I am a user experience architect here at Salesforce. And we're here today to unpack some of the best practices for when you're working with your Copilot actions in Einstein Copilot. And all of us here at Salesforce know that every innovation and every leap that we make as a company is powered by all of you. So thank you for everything that you do. Upon being invited to speak today here at TDX, I was actually requested to submit a new profile photo for the TDX website. And I don't have a professional photo. I don't know how to take the one good photo. So I decided to give AI a shot for this task. And here it is. I really like it, but the real takeaway for me was that I actually require more control than what AI can offer. So to achieve the result that I wanted, I actually combined the power of AI with some of the design tools that I, as, as a designer, I'm already comfortable with, so I had more control over the AI and have something that I was proud to present. Now. Let's imagine that I was able to complete this process through a seamless, unified conversational experience that seamlessly integrated with my own design tools. Well, that was just a metaphor. I am not here to talk about a photo AI editing tool, but this unification idea with your own tools is what Einstein Copilot represents for your business. Einstein Copilot brings together the power of AI with your own Salesforce tools so that you can radically change the way and accelerate the speed of your human Salesforce interactions. So today, I am going to share with you some of the ways that you can integrate today some of those Salesforce tools in Einstein Copilot. You will be able to do this with what we call Copilot Actions. A copilot action, you can think of it as a customizable framework that enables Einstein to perform a task on the Salesforce platform through conversation. Basically, the things that today you have to do by navigating to a lot of different pages and a lot of different tools. And this is really going to transform the productivity of your organization. So, my goal here today is for you today to leave this talk with a solid understanding of the true power of the actions framework in Einstein Copilot. The great news for you and your business is that Einstein Copilot is gonna come with a lot of out of the box solutions that you can integrate from day one. Then I'm going to move on into, into customization, and specifically, I'm going to talk about how to integrate prompts, flows, and Apex classes with Copilot. And lastly, I am going to show you how do you bring everything together with the Copilot Playground. Let's begin by exploring the Einstein uh, Copilot uh, out-of-the-box solutions that are available from day one. We're excited to offer you ready-to-use Gen AI solutions that are easy to implement across sales, service, marketing, commerce, and IT, so you can get started with AI and Salesforce in no time. Something to note is that this list will continue to grow release over release, so make sure that you are familiar with the solutions before you decide to drive any Copilot customization. Also, we're excited to deliver two distinct Gen AI experiences in the Salesforce platform. You're going to have embedded and conversational experiences. 
an embedded experiences is gonna allow you as the AI enabler in your organization to have more control and safeguards for routine tasks in Salesforce. On the other hand, if you want your users to have more control and more fine-tuning capabilities, you're going to be able to implement conversational experiences. And as a key user experience principle, I just want to say that always place your users at the centers of your solutions. Make sure that you're connected with their challenges in their day-to-day -day work, because this will ensure that you're focusing on the right solutions as you continue driving your business forward with Salesforce. All right, now let's move on onto the custom Copilot Actions framework. And I want to start with uh, the Prom Studio. From the setup page, you're actually going to be able to access the Prom Studio, which will allow you to, bring, uh, to build Prom templates. You can think of a prompt template as the same concept of uh, sending a message in ChatGPT, but a lot better. Prom templates is going to give you the advantage of dynamically embedding Salesforce data to ground your, your prompts with what we call merge fields. They are also repeatable, so your users don't have to compose the prompts themselves every time. So in this case, let's say that I want to write a prompt that all of my sales reps can use to generate unique personalized emails for their unique leads without having to manually look for key customer information across Salesforce. Now, I want to show you the flow action type because this is where things start getting really powerful. Let's go back to that prompt template I showed you earlier. Now, let's imagine that my company is hosting a marketing event in San Francisco, and I want to include a call to action in the email only to, re to recipients that live in the Bay Area. That is easy. In this scenario, I can leverage the power of Salesforce flows with prompt templates to do this. In Flow Builder, I already have an action flow for this event, and I can reference this flow directly in the prompt instructions and instruct Einstein to include the call to action only if the zip code matches Bay Area locals. Now you can start to see how Gen AI and automation can start working together. And finally, the last type of custom action I want to show you that can be added to Copilot are going to be your Apex classes. To create any custom actions, you're simply going to navigate to the setup page and locate the Einstein Copilot Actions tab. From there, you can start by clicking on New Copilot Action. And from this model, you can see that you can bring to the conversational Copilot experience prompt templates, flows, or your Apex classes in this case. And after you select the Apex class option, you will be able to add any of your existing uh, Apex classes into this copilot, which will allow you to incorporate all kinds of advanced business processes into your conversational experiences. And now to wrap it up, I'm eager to show you how everything comes together with the Einstein Copilot Playground. But before diving into the playground, Let's take a moment to understand the basic structure of an Einstein Copilot action. Basically, the way that a Copilot action works is that you will take your Apex class, for example, and you put it inside a metadata wrapper or think about it as a conceptual box. This box is going to contain all of the instructions and configurations that Einstein needs to know in order to use the, the action during a copilot conversation. And you can manage all of, all of these configurations are all customizable directly from your setup page, so you can make sure that this action works perfectly with your unique business processes. So in a nutshell, 
Every time you or your users are asking a question in Einstein Copilot, Einstein goes ahead and really quickly identifies the intent. And based on that intent, it's gonna sort through all of the actions available in that Copilot, and it's gonna orchestrate the actions that Einstein needs to fulfill that request. So here we are in the, in the Copilot Playground, which also live in your setup page. And this is where everything comes together. And just with a few clicks, I can customize with Copilot to include out of the box flows, prompt templates, and Apex classes as actions that can be triggered through conversation. And it is time to take it for a spin. To begin testing, I can simply enter a question in the conversational panel to the right. Do you see that middle panel in the screen? That is where you'll witness the power of Einstein Copilot in real time. This renders what we call the planner service, which is identifying and executing all the actions that are needed to fulfill a user request. What this does is that it gives you a peek into how Copilot works in the background so that you can make sure that these solutions work well for all of your use case before they even reach your users. So now that you have an overview of the Einstein Copilot and the Actions Framework, what will you build for your organization? That's all my time I had today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank <laughs> you.